We are. Okay. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. This is Chad Jordan from Sport Cliffs. I'm the director of marketing for digital services, and this is another edition of the Sport Cliffs Hall of Fame podcast. I promise we're going to have a good time uh, on this episode and uh, have two reasons why. I'm going to have the first reason why uh, introduce herself, who she is, and what she does. I'm Jan Mansfield, and I am head of operations, I guess you could say, and marketing for, I think you're the, you know. That's how you introduce for yourself? For our area developer team. Okay. <laughs> okay, and team leader as well. I am a team yes. leader. We have five stores. Okay, thank you. And with us as well. My name is Mark Mansfield. I am the president of NextQuest, Inc., and a partner of Total FX. Well, can you, in English, please, what does that mean? I really, actually, I can't say. I really can't say no. on, a, on a public. Okay, honest. so <laughs> you, you're, uh, you're, you're involved with Sport Clips in some yeah. way, shape, or form. Yeah. Uh, so this is the disclaimer that I need to say up front. I'm gonna, a I'll probably ask one of them a question, and the other one will at least answer half of it, if not interrupt and jump in and answer it, the whole thing, before the other person gets a chance to explain himself or herself. You said we're area developers, right? I did. Okay. So uh, now everybody knows what I'm dealing with for the next little bit of time that we're going to be doing this podcast. So uh, you guys are, did we say where we're based, where we're at? Right uh, we're in Dallas, okay. Texas. Actually, Plano, Texas. We live in okay. Plano. All right, so to, to be exact. Uh, in the Dallas area, mm -hmm. and there are how many stores under 77 your... stores in the DFW area, yeah. but we oversee 110 in the North Texas region including East, West Texas, Central, several in New Mexico, and one in Oklahoma. So, yeah. and we got, it's Jan Mansfield and Mark Mansfield, and I know off air we were talking about kind of brothers and sisters and all that. You're not, no, that's no, not how you're related. So, did, no one can be mistaken. You are uh, married for how many years? 30 years in March. Okay. No, I should have let no, him. No, I, that's so exactly. I was, no, no, I, was, I, was gonna, it I was gonna say twenty nine. <laughs> yeah, he would have gotten it. Wrong. Okay, I, I was no, trying I, to set I, it you're up. You're correct. But thirty in March. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things we're gonna dive into quite a bit. In fact, it's gonna be the 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 core uh, that we focus the rest of the uh, the questions around. Is this dynamic of you as a married couple being involved with sport clips for? In fact, I can't even do the math. It's over twenty years. 1997, December 90, 1990. No, you did that on purpose, I'm sure. We uh, signed December of 98. I'm sorry, that's uh, right. We opened our first store in May of 99. 99. Yep. Okay, so this will be the, the 20th that year of you guys being involved with Sport Clips. So you've been around and you were married at that time? Yes. Okay, and, and you're still, still married? Still, okay. still married. So maybe I'll put this under the success stories <laughs> uh, episodes of the podcast, but I, I want to focus in a lot on uh, how you guys have made it 20 years, going on 20 years uh, as a married couple in, in Sport Clips. The fact that there's some team leaders out there, uh, they, they're they newer team leaders or they're, uh, they're a couple, uh, a husband and wife that are operating right now and wondering how, how can we make it work with a business, with a family, with kids. And at the time, I believe you had, uh, you've got two I had a five, girls, four, right? and a baby okay. when, we when we first started. Uh -huh. the first store now. Um, and you know, and they've all uh, been to college or getting ones finishing finishing college. Yeah. So it is a success story, certainly a success story. So I want to get to a lot of that stuff today and uh, or tonight as we're recording this at night. But give me uh, just give me the the abridged version of uh, you're doing what in your life in 1997-98, and how does the sport clips or probably what you thought of at the time the sports clips opportunity how does that how does that arise what's what's happening well actually I, I my past life I was in sales in the oil and gas business so I traveled to Houston a lot and uh, had an overnight stay in Houston and I just was trying to kill some time and so I was at a department store and I saw this cute girl behind the jewelry counter oh boy yeah well I just said so I said hey I need to get a haircut do you have a place I can go mm -hmm. no no place she goes, ah, oh, I got this place called Sport Clips. It's right across the street. My boyfriend goes there. It's the coolest place you ought to go there. And I'm thinking, this is crazy. This girl's like all excited about a haircut telling place. me a, a yeah. haircut place that her boyfriend goes to. And so I go and I see it. And I have my haircut. I had a great experience. This is probably 1996 that this happened. So this is one of the first oh, Sport yeah. Clips. It was in Houston yeah. off of uh, Highway 5, I think. And I uh, had a great experience. I came back. I thought, man, I, just, I love that idea. I love that concept. 
I'd love to do something like that. And um, so I, I never did anything with it. I kind of thought, well, I'd copycat it. Like everybody thinks, so uh -huh. I'll copycat the concept. Just put a bunch of TVs and hire a bunch of people and cut hair. Serve um, beer. Serve beer, yeah, yeah. I never did it, but I, but I always kind of, I was always looking for something else. And so I was looking in the newspaper and I saw a classified ad that they were looking for franchisees in the Dallas, Texas market. So I just answered an ad and uh, contacted with Gene Booth, mm -hmm. who's still with the company. Yep. And Gene was based in Houston. I literally was flying to Houston every day from Dallas, between Dallas and Houston, and uh, met up with her and fell in love with the concept. And then um, brought Jan in for a lot of due diligence. Are you, are you a teacher? I was, I was a stay-at-home mom. Okay. I did teach for five years. Okay. I quit the day my first job was All there. right. So you're home with, at this time, two a or five three. A five-year-old, a okay. four-year-old, okay. and a had been, baby okay. under yeah. one. Yeah. And Mark tells you this idea and you think or you say well, what happens. Well, it, it was going to be his business for sure. And I was <laughs> I was probably taken aback, but I, I kind of grew to, to okay. Yeah. But it was going to be his business yeah. and I was just going to raise kids. So. Yeah. And you thought Pretty he'd be the, the one way going it's in. Been. Right, yeah. yeah. It's still yeah. that way, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're, correct. You're at home all the time. <laughs> he's, he's off doing all the yes. hard stuff. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And, and is the opportunity, was the one you're answering the paper, was it just as a team, team leader? Leaders, yeah. Okay, so yeah. there wasn't any AD Oh, no, no, no. That, that, wasn't even, that wasn't even the thing. That, so we were, uh, we bought in, bought our three-pack that became uh, team leaders, and we were able to open our store about, I don't know, five or six months after yeah. we, you know, signed the agreement. Are you, are you the first ones in Dallas, or had there been other team leaders? There, were, there was another group that mm -hmm. um, actually bought in the Dallas market right before us, but we all kind of opened within a month of each other. Our three stores got open within a month of each other. Does it, does it go gangbuster right out oh, of the God, gate? No? no? Okay, no. good, because that, that would not have been no. as good of a we story. We opened the 26th store in, a co in the company mm -hmm. at a dynamite location, and cried the first year yeah, struggled, easily struggled. went through three managers had you had you been working full-time and doing this or oh, did you yeah. quit no oh, I, I okay. quit I quit full-time I was working for six years okay with it before yeah. we got the sport club I mean I didn't I mean I was working the whole time yeah you know? right. we opened in May like I said and by summer I, I was like move over I've got this mm -hmm. and I went in and was the teacher create the fun yeah. and then let's have fun but I still cried for mm -hmm. about nine months yeah, I mean, we couldn't hire people. It was really hard to hire people because they didn't know the concept. Um, they didn't know what Sport Clips was. Clients didn't know who we were. They thought no. we were a video store that sold sports videos, yeah. you know, sports clips. Right, and yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it just, clips. nobody knew. So it was really, really tough to hire people. And um, and it just took a while to make yeah. any money. How, how like a did, long time. How, how did you, what what, what changed? How we, did you we, get The manager, we people. got a great manager in place and she just killed it. We're able to hire great people team members after that and Trish yeah and uh it's just Trish went, later on went on to be a, a coach, coach for corporate, for corporate, mm -hmm. wow. corporate offices yeah. moved to Austin and yeah. still in Austin yeah. otherwise she I'd make her so, work for us again so <laughs> if there is no Trish yeah. and, and she doesn't step in at that time things who knows yeah. who knows what could, could have happened so really yeah. having the right manager uh, made all the difference for y'all yeah. and it turned into so you're you're you have that one store it finally yeah turns then, around yeah then we opened our second store in frisco texas and um population about 300 when we was when we piece, signed on, the lease on the piece on of paper, paper <laughs> it's uh, because frisco had not grown yet wow no. and um it's crazy matter of fact um sci actually turned down the property and said there's no there's only 300 people mm -hmm. population and we're like no you don't understand Trust this place us. is going to be crazy the infrastructure for it's going to be crazy uh, the mall was out there and, and it's going to be we just built it two years into it it became the number one store in the country for five years mm -hmm. it was the number it was the first you know, it was one of the first stores even as it's growing as a city i mean it was yeah it, yeah. It, yeah the city yeah grew tremendously now it's still a great store yeah. but um but yeah that was our first store and it blew it out of the, blew it out of the water so what what when does a light bulb go off for you guys that this is really something we can should put all our eggs or many of our eggs in this basket and kind of just go for it? What what when did it dawn on y'all? Well, when you get a ten thousand dollar week store, it really kind of helps. Yeah. <laughs> the financials of everything really starts helping, and um, 
you know, actually kind of what, what at that particular time, I was actually on a flight with Gordon just by circumstance. Um, Gordon was doing a connecting flight. Gordon through, Logan, CEO, founder of Sport Clips. He was doing a connecting flight through Tulsa. And I oh, was, so was this wasn't arranged? No, 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 no. Just bumped no. into him. No, I was in the old Do you see, do you <laughs> see the cowboy? Well, you probably saw a lot of cowboy hats <laughs> yeah. back in the day well, on planes. Yeah. But. Well, he, he, we, so we just got on this connecting flight between uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Dallas, and he was on his way to Austin. And... We started talking. I was like, you know, Gordon, I, if there's anything that comes up to make things, you know, bigger opportunity, I'd like to have an opportunity for that. I was like, I'd like to be the king of hair, you know, mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. Dallas Fort Worth market. And he started talking about the AD comp uh, concept that he was thinking about getting that okay, started. Okay, so they're 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 developing yeah. that AD plan, um, and you had a you pretty much threw your hat in the ring. Yeah, I didn't know anything beforehand. about it. Yeah, I didn't know anything about the yeah. AD plan, but I kind of threw my hat in there, and then when they came up with the plan and, and started, you know, bringing it out to everybody, it's like, yeah, I'm very interested in that. What, what, what did that entail? What was, what was the idea? So the idea was that, <laughs> what? The idea of what the AD was Well, back yeah, well that's completely different than <laughs> what it is now, I can tell wait, you that. Wait, just tell me the, 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 uh, <laughs> we the nuts stores. and bolts. Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> so the main thing is, you know, well, sport clips was starting to grow, and so they were getting pretty thin in their support staff. Right. And so, you know, Gene was franchising and also doing real estate. Beth and was Butch, marketing. Beth was marketing. And, but they were doing it for the whole, you know, they were doing it for Houston. They are all over the place. And we thought, well, you know, we locally, we could really focus on it and really kind of get our feet in the ground and really build it and build it, you know, faster. And, um, and so we loved that concept. We loved that idea. And, um, and we were really blessed because Gene had already done a great a lot of lead work and got a lot of stuff going mm -hmm. and so we were able to just kind of jump right in and just continue on the momentum she had already started yeah. all jean had to do was hand over her legal sized yellow pieces of uh -huh. paper with all the leads on yeah, it yeah nothing on a computer file it was mm -hmm. all on, right. on the yellow pad late 90s or early. Yeah, it's probably last same thing right yeah. probably didn't change she's probably two, doing three. this right yeah. now but yeah it's a legal she, pad yeah and it's like, it's like here it is. Are those in alphabetical order? No, what? No, no, no. There's no sort <laughs> no, feature no. on a lead. No. Mm -hmm. But it worked. It was yeah. great. So we had more leads than I mean Mark yeah. Mark does franchising and construction. Yeah, and so the, that, these yeah. are what? These are uh, potential team leaders, potential places to put stores. Well, I mean, what's Both. all okay? Both. Both. It's all that. And uh, and so that's where we kinda had to define like what each one of us was responsible for. Each one, e you Me and, and you and Jan. Yeah, and we okay. knew we had to draw a line. Did 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 something in you say uh, I would be better at this or he would be better at that or, or vice versa yeah. or yeah. you just gravitate? He needed the business it. side of things and I was the fun. Yeah, you're well, you're fun. the well, you're fun, but I'm fun. you're yes, I'm you're fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, you are, but you're the people person, yes. right? Oh, okay, and so and you're yeah, <laughs> you're the numbers. <laughs> no, no, no? okay, all right. We'll, we don't know what he does. We'll argue about that off air. So, anyways, I did the sales. Because I'm pretty fun and good stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I was operations and marketing. And she was operations. She was a good teacher. And that was the teacher part of, yeah. of everything. Really, the marketing side of it, we really both kind of jumped that because well, we kind of yeah. like that. In the beginning, know. we didn't, but then I made you. Yes. Yeah. Neither one of us really liked it. Sorry, yeah. no offense. No, hey, but we are not gotta, marketing there's people. There's got to be people that yeah. like marketing yeah. and, and love doing it. Yeah. There's those people. <laughs> so thank God there's people that don't like it, or else <laughs> those of us that do wouldn't right. have a job. Right. There would be no right. space for us. Right. So I kind of did all the franchising. I did the construction, the real estate, and then once we got stores open, we turned it over to Jan and her team, and they kind of they grow with it. So, how did you balance their? Sh I mean, there really was no shift. You still were team leaders. You mm -hmm. still had your stores and have opened additional ones since you become ads, right? I mean, yeah. you didn't stop opening stores. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, we sold some stores. We actually yeah. had some stores that we opened, and I, we sold one to one of our team leaders and sold the other two to my sister, mm -hmm. who was also a coach for us. And at the same time, we opened up um, some additional stores after that. And then recently, we've acquired some stores out. So did you ever, you, are you, how is that balance of being an AD, being a team leader? I mean, it can't be a 50-50 sort of, I mean, you got to pay attention to this, but that, you're spinning plates, I mean... Well, the where we are today, I mean, in the in the early days, I mean, Jan was had a lot of hands on uh, with everything. But we've got people that have been with us for so long that they really kind of take care of really the day to day activities of the store. Um, where we gives us a lot of time to focus on um, the area developer side of it and supporting our team leaders. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. We've got eighteen team leaders 18 or 20 team leaders that we support 24 out of 110 stores 24 to, 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 to be exact <laughs> so i thought okay 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, she's closer. I, I'll she's give it sitting to her. closer to me, so right. I'm gonna trust her. I'm gonna uh, trust her. 18 to 24. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 somewhere no, in the middle. That's, 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 I hate to be the guy that free forgot. That's, that's, that's a good range. 25. 24. Let's just not list them all by name. <laughs> I, so can so I can do it. So that if you I can do it in alphabetical order. For sure. Well, Jan, I wanna ask you so while all this is happening, you guys are growing sport clips. Talk about the home life and the kids and. Uh, can, can you describe, do you feel like you're giving them enough time? Is there ever seasons where you thought, man, you know, and, and they've grown, they, we just had a number of birthdays go by and I haven't been there. What, how are you, how are you? In the beginning it was, it was hard because they were all so little, right. but, um, I had a great support group with family, Mark's family, my family. I had best friends who would take them anytime I needed them to. And um, my, you know, one of my stories I always tell is. I'm throwing them in the car, but buckling them all in car seats because they were that yep. little. And they're like, why did we ever buy sport clips? And I'm like, so we can spend more time with you. <laughs> Get in the car. Put your shoes on. Uh -huh. And then I go drop them off at Tammy's house, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, but really, I mean, being in charge of our own schedule, it's not that you have to do everything between 9 and 8 p.m. Right. We were able to do things. We're night owls, so we did a lot of things at night. Yeah. After the kids went to bed. That's why we're recording the podcast at yeah. night. Because, you know, so, it, you know, it just allowed us to actually be there for them at all their events. Soccer, yeah, gymnastics, yeah. cheerleading, football, baseball, yeah. I coached volleyball. All the, I coached all yeah. their teams. I mean, I had time to do everything. Mm -hmm. you know, and, so. you know, so we were able to be very involved. And, and our house is an open door. And had all their teams over here for yeah, dinners I, and all sorts of things. This is the Mansfield Motel. I mean, every time <laughs> I come here... Uh, you guys are gracious enough to, to host me and, and now there's additional people here as well and mm -hmm. your son's a roommate and all these so uh, and the, the joke that you were telling me earlier mark it's not really a joke but somebody wanted you involved i think it was a missions trip or something and said well because you, you you know you're you're, you're schedule's very flexible, flexible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're very flexible yeah. Take so a week. you don't work yeah, yeah. take a week um, and you know you're always available by phone um whether it's an email or a text we can always answer questions wherever we are so yeah it's worked real well. Now, now that you're here, looking back, what uh, what would you have done differently through all of this stuff, through the, the early years of, uh, of getting to where you're at right now? I don't know that I would do anything different. I think that the successes and the failures that we did have grew us to be better at what mm -hmm. we do. Um, I, we're rule followers, mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Everything Karen Haney and Nancy taught us, and then Julie and you know everyone else at corporate, we just followed and did what they told us to do. We might and venture a little it. bit or think we uh -huh. need to do something different, but we really have well, always you, tried and, to and be I think true you to were the saying values. You would even come in the early days. You'd go to to the company and say, "Hey, here's a suggestion for oh, yeah. MTC or yeah. something, manager training camp yeah. or something like that." Um, so you were you were giving as much as you were getting, right? Yeah. Especially early on, but staying true to those sport clips values and the system and the process and all that stuff. So, so for, for your perspective, what it sounds like you're saying is you, you know, you might've hit some bumps along the way, but you stayed within the lines, yeah. drove the speed limit right. and got where you wanted right. to go. And what about you? Anything for you, Mark? Yeah, Anything no, about? exactly. There's nothing major. I think probably we probably should have cut ties with some managers uh, earlier than we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Um, is that is that a hire was that a hiring mistake from the get go or was it uh, you gave them a shot you weren't sure but you were willing to take a risk and then you got into it and went uh, yeah, this I isn't gonna it, work out well it, maybe I think maybe we just hired the wrong person at the very beginning and we tried to to make them that person and they were just never gonna get there mm -hmm. and um, you know just but they all taught us good things and they were still good at what they. They may have been great stylists, but not necessarily right. great managers. Right, yeah. maybe you shouldn't have gone the manager out. So that's, I, mean, that's I can't the thing think of any train wrecks, really. No, no train no. wrecks. No. So, no. Uh, can, you, can you, um, well, let's, let's, stay on the, let's stay on the marriage theme for, for a second, just because I think it is such an important dynamic. And what makes y'all successful, if, were you doing this venture alone, you wouldn't have done it in the first, you know, first of all. And it certainly wouldn't have been as successful. So... Uh, a question that I uh, that I think about is are you guys now that you've done this for 20 years are you able to is it sport clips all the time in your mind at home in the car is that all is it are you able to separate 
work from home or vice versa or is it just who you are it depends on who we're with uh -huh. um there's a time period where our children didn't want to hear about sport mm -hmm. clips because that's all even though they two of them, the girls worked there since they were 14. Mm -hmm. um coordinators or coordinators, coordinators yes so it school. was hard to i mean we had to kind of they just got tired of hearing it yeah. but when we're we go to lunch every day and we do talk outside but it always is about if it's not about our kids it's about sport clips um and does it, I think it, it is blurred, to be honest, we, for so long. I mean, I like to say, oh, I can separate this from that, but it's it's who we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's our lives. and um, But we love it. and you know That's the important it, part. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it could it, be your it, life and you're miserable, yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. all you think about. Yeah. No, we but, love it. I mean, our, our people are our family, and mm -hmm. uh, our family's our family, and our, and our workers are our family. Yeah. And, um, and it's hard to separate, honestly, <laughs> from the level of food work family better than our own family <laughs> that's not true we love our kids. we love okay. our kids this is being recorded Mark. so chan there she goes well Again, has your now back. we spend more time with our work family yeah, than right. we do our kids, yeah, kids because they are boss. yeah yeah they aren't in the house anymore yeah. other than the one that's upstairs now is, right it, now. is there a, a second generation possibility where any of the kids do want to kind yeah. of take step into the family business yeah so our, our son boone mm -hmm. um he's a senior at texas tech right now and he's working on a master's in accounting and uh he has aspirations of taking my job, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm doing this for a long time. <laughs> you know, the aspirations just need, we'll need to find a place for you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he definitely wants to get involved, and um, you know, obviously he needs to go out in the real world and work and, and right. kind of see what's going on there. And then we have two daughters, uh, Gable wow. in Chicago, and Dibral is in New York, and um, they're kind of doing their own thing, even though they're they're coordinators. They love sport clips, and they were coordinators, and they know everything about it, but they're kind of. One's doing uh, marketing, another one's doing um, graphic design, art direction. I love it, and yeah. especially the marketing angle. Yeah. So see, hey, I, know. I mean, you got it. Actually, in the she's doing tree. event planning right now, but That's she does have a marketing, marketing degree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, you you mentioned so many of uh, at this point, so many of your team members are family, whether they're coaches or or, or stylists or, or whatever. Uh, what have been over the, the last 20 years some of the more rewarding either relationships or stories or um, payoffs that you guys have kind of gotten from team members and the relationships, the dynamic that you have with them? I think just taking the, when we've met some of these girls, they've been 19, 20, mm. 22, and then to watch them grow to almost 40, yeah. which is crazy. Kids, the uh, kids graduated yes. from high school at this point. And um, just to watch them grow and um, be successful, it's been fun. Do you, do you have any that stand out? Oh, I mean, shout out to or well, not, of course, well, yeah. Jenny, Jenny Fa uh, Favors, Favors. <laughs> Jenny I can't favorite. edit that. I'm going to leave that. Yeah, I'm sorry. So that, so that you got married. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but Jenny Smith obviously is one of our first coaches. She's awesome. She's still with us. And she's she's great. great. First, so she's been here since the. About, know, I think 2003. She, okay. Yeah. So she's she's like she's yeah. just family. I mean, she was we, we're 18, at her 19. wedding. You know, went to her got her wedding and. Just I'm about to go to Britney's wedding. Her she's our other. She's one babies. of our coaches. Mm -hmm. Seen them all born, and you know to have her family over and all of our coaches and managers in Dallas come over for a Christmas party, you know, and have their kids all come over. I mean, that was really, really special. It was fun. You guys do something uh, that kind of stands out, and is it your own huddle? What 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 do you do every year? I think it's before the huddle, some big celebration, and you it's a gala. I mean, you guys we have go a gala. All out. It's a what, gala. What, <laughs> we have a gala. Yeah, or a gala. I think we're on our fifth year. Yeah, fifth year. And, and what what no, does it entail? Year. I've seen some photos and some social media stuff, but well, um, we we started it because we we when there's a big thing about having fun within sport clips, mm -hmm. we like we want to have some fun. Let's let's make something. And we started thinking like, I bet there's a lot of team members that have never gone to prom. So can we do huh. something that actually might be Mark and I did, dated forever, but we didn't get a prom together. A prom. So it's kind of a sore uh, spot. Oh, yeah. oh so we great. wanted to make that'll it happy the, uh, for everybody that'll else. That'll be the bonus material that we'll cover <laughs> only in the YouTube version of the <laughs> podcast. We'll cover that after we, we stop the prom. We wanted prom to be great for everyone else. So okay. we kind of were thinking maybe a second chance prom type thing where we give an opportunity for our team members to dress up, bring a date, and um, we actually had a band. We had Emerald City, which is like the number one cover band in Dallas Fort Worth area been around forever so we did a huge and huge event this is just your five stores no no no, no. this is for all, oh, okay. 
all the okay. Dallas, yeah. just the DFW. Dallas Fort Worth. Right. Out of the DFW just, Ad Fund. And is it just managers or no. is it no, no, all the team members? Everybody. Okay. So we have we have the potential of over a thousand people right. with dates, <laughs> you know, come to this event. And um, so we started it. We uh, we uh, you know had the band. We had we give awards. You know we've got our annual awards that we give. We have a top stylist. Mar uh, oh, we have the yeah we have the top stylist from every store. We have a, a top stylist parade where they get a march up on parade, announce themselves. They and, all you get know, sashes. Sashes with top stylist on them. And we and uh, it's awesome. And we yeah. have different type of entertainment. Whether it's a hair show. Last year we had the artistic team come out. The year mm. before that we had David Wilkes. He oh, came cool. out, and hosted, yeah. and did a mm -hmm. whole game show. You know show him, thing. right? Yeah, yeah, D-Dub. <laughs> yeah. I don't know him by David Wilkes, but yeah, yeah so he hosts. So we've done if we could get thing. Greg mm -hmm. out there, that would probably talk. Which, which Greg? Gusosian. Oh, Zodian. for sure. Zodian. Zodian. I always Zodian. say it right. Yeah. Wrong. Zodian. Zodian. That's I don't know. That's I always the, say it right. Sorry, Greg. That's so, the Texas way. Zoshian. Yes, yeah, Zoshian. Like Ocean. So this year, it's it's in February, actually. March 2nd. In March. Like I said, this is why and we're doing guys uh, are such a great. Team. But this is really cool. We're actually doing dueling pianos. Yeah, it's gonna be different oh, this year. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. So you've hired two. It's not at a piano bar. No, no, no. It's we're at a okay. Irving Convention Center. It's a huge ballroom. Still on the beans. Mm -hmm. Right here now. That's okay. Right. It's gonna be a black and white party. <laughs> Breaking okay. news. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> they do any, know. Yeah, any other details you need to, to keep God. close to that because yeah. I can try to get it out of you. We're hoping Gordon's going to be there. He's, He's oh, been there. Sure. one and or Edward. two. Okay. Yeah, Edward. and Edward, sorry, and Edward, yeah. of course, both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They've been there before and they're and great. Sexy oh, Hair yeah. does a great job. Sexy Hair has been a sponsor for us. Gibbs, nice. Gibbs, Gibbs has been there Gibbs two has years. Been, mm -hmm. been showing does up. Gibbs himself come out? Yeah, oh, yeah. Great. he's been there past two years. It's a great event. I mean, they they have a ton of fun. Um, whether it's last year we did karaoke, mm -hmm. yeah, so was, that was you know, great. Yeah, actually, dancing and karaoke. Who who, who couldn't love that? You, uh, what are some other fun things that you guys do around? I mean, that's that's probably enough for a year. Are there any any other local things or interactions with sports stars that uh, the affiliation with Sport Clips has has provided? Anything? Well, well, yeah, we've actually got sponsorships with uh, the Dallas Stars, okay. the Dallas Mavericks, hockey team, and uh, basketball team, and okay. the Texas Rangers. Okay. And baseball. So, um, really, and what the, what comes with that? Do you, you sponsor them? So. Yeah. So we do we do sponsorship. We have in game act, you know in game uh, video board type stuff. But we also have activation nights. So that gives us the opportunity to go out there at the games. We'll we'll get stylists, team members that will come out, and so um, they'll go out there and we hand out koozies and lip balm and coupons and greeting people at the doors, and that's a great. Fun event, then they get to enjoy the game afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's been going to seats. We've been doing that for a club. long time, yeah. actually. So yeah, you know, that keeps us busy. We end up giving away about sixty thousand koozies through the each season and uh, lip balms. I'm doing the math in my head. Yeah. Eight times eight, sixty-four thousand. You're yeah. just you're there for it. You're the autocorrect. <laughs> yes, that's that's, uh, that's, yes. that's your role. And then the lip balm too. Oh, and lip balm. Yes, that we too. do that. Uh, so let's see. What are what are some challenges that you face now uh, that are different than when you started back in the day? Hmm. There's got to be challenges. There's yeah, exactly. Challenges I mean, this is a, this is a real <laughs> real world podcast. Or are they the you same? You know, I probably struggle with um, wanting to turn things over, but then unable to turn things over mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I think you're getting more forgetful. Well, I, I am. Yeah. That might be. I am forgetful. Well, I think you corrected it probably be. 13 times. Yeah, I know. But it's wrong. She's wrong. Oh, okay. Every time. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. So your uh, that's yours. What about anything for you, marketing? No, I have no, no. challenges. You've got no. So this <laughs> you're perfect. on easy street. Yeah. This is why you can go perfect. on a week mission trip because uh, you know <laughs> your your we have schedule great, so We have so great cool. people who pick up where I fail oh, there we and. Go. and Help Mark be perfect. You know the accounting part of it. I mean, that's yeah. just the challenge. And it's just because it's just getting more to be of a challenge. You start growing and you get bigger things. But that's a, that's a, you got people that do stuff like that for you. Mm -hmm. But you got to get them the stuff. <laughs> so. We are not good at follow up. And okay. We, we are not. And we challenge with organization. I'm very organized. Mm -hmm. I look at my office now. It's all well, in there's a, box. There's a reason, <laughs> that's, that's why we didn't record the podcast in that in office. In the office, exactly. It's not, okay, so we got some, some organizational uh, problems. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, the most rewarding part of being who you are, ADs, team leaders, what, what would you say at this point? 
looking back, here you are now, what's the most rewarding part of, of the whole process, the whole lifestyle that you've created? Well, we've, it's been a blessing for us. I mean, obviously we've been, give, been given so much, um, just financially, it's, you know, financially, self-dependent. I mean, we're, we're, we're independent, whatever, we're just, <laughs> we're dependent. whatever the word is. Whatever we are. We're dependent on sport clubs, for that <laughs> way, for <laughs> sure. Um, also to help others. I mean, there's, you know, the number of team leaders that have come through and the success that we've watched yeah. them succeed and that we've been a part of. We've not of even talked about the accolades. You guys yourselves have been 80s of the year. Yeah. Uh, you uh, had a number of uh, finalists for the look, right? And we've had, I think we've had over nine or nine ish. Okay, from from, nine your, from, the, the, from, I'm sorry, from the, the North, North Texas, Texas area. Yeah. Uh, and winners. Uh, you've had winners. some Logan Trophy winners, Logan some managers Trophy. of the year. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you have, what did we say the number was? How many million dollar stores? Okay. Four, Four of the six. That were ha that happened in 2018 came from your territory, right. mm -hmm. so you guys clearly know uh, what you're doing. Um, so I want to I want to wind it down because uh, I know you guys are night owls, but I'm not, so it's getting <laughs> late. Uh, so here's here's a couple questions. Then I want to get to the the goofball mm -hmm. questions. Uh, this one, without you guys getting in hot water, uh, <laughs> I had someone ask me. Uh, to pick your brain if there's any never before revealed secrets or behind the scene details about one Gordon Logan mm -hmm. that you uh, can share and would like to share maybe a favorite memory with him or uh, you know something that most people wouldn't know I'll start with Mark while Jan thinks of one <laughs> There's nothing. I mean, Gordon's a saint. Yeah, so. right. Yes, okay. There's, there's great. one. On record. There's and we will have a transcript of this that will post it to our website. So I really do appreciate you saying that. No, of course. Um, no, we just have... Gordon's been great. He's been so supportive from the very beginning. Um, I, I remember one time at Gordon and, and Edward. Edward's probably 12 years old. And I remember them coming all the way up to Dallas and um, going to the Dallas Cowboy game with us. Mm -hmm. you know, and that was just a Well, that a must have been time. a... a, a Mid nineties. It was a long time ago. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't get. Was to go, Aikman still so. the quarterback? Or probably. Probably. Okay. No, I'm yeah. sure. Aikman was so. the quarterback. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Gordon. I mean, from it's just I'm going to steal her because I know what she's going to say. But you know, Gordon, from the very first time that we opened a store, I mean, he was there. It was Karen Haney and Gordon Logan, and they were there. Gene and, Booth and Gene Booth and Gordon Logan. Like got day one. They, they minus were. one day yeah. before. Oh, okay. So right. they're there. They're I mean, there he's putting, literally putting together chairs, drilling holes in the wall, me. putting up grid wall, helping wow. organize memorabilia, hands on. Mm -hmm. I mean, they he was he was there, and he's always wore his cowboy hat. It's not, yeah, it's not something new. Right. No, it's not yeah. a gimmick. It's always that's been a real thing. <laughs> yeah, that's who he is. There's nothing better than just whether it's an area developer award or as a team leader getting awards, but going up there on stage and just getting to hug him. Yeah, because he's always very genuine mm -hmm. and sincere when he that congratulates you. You yeah. know. No, I, I and I see it. Uh, yeah. Up close and personal. Yeah, he does like his gin drinks too. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. I think I think that's the secret. I think you guys are actually bringing him more as you come up on stage every time, especially when one time that. it worked that way. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Uh, okay, uh, a couple other questions, and then we'll get to the the ten, not the lightning round, but the goofy questions, and we'll we'll do it a little differently today. Uh, do me a favor and answer this for me about the other person. In other words. Mark, the best thing that Jan brings to the Sport Clips family partnership is her what? Um, I guess her fun. Her she, fun. She said I thought you earlier. were the fun one. Well, but she so, said it, so I'm okay. just gonna throw it out there. Okay. Um, so, and, and what? How, how she, so? Prove that. What? What do you? What she's do you think? actually, and she's straightforward. I mean, I guess that's probably really what it is. Her straightforwardness mm -hmm. that she can. She doesn't hedge around the bush. She'll mm -hmm. go out there. If something needs to be addressed. That's what she brings. She mm -hmm. goes out there and lets them, you know, this needs to be cut addressed. Cut to the chase. Let's yeah. cut to the chase. This is it. It's plain and white. Uh, plain and white? Black and white. Yeah, mm -hmm. that too. <laughs> um, so um, that's really been her biggest strength, honestly, because mm -hmm. I don't like conflict. She, uh, looks, okay. she looks for yeah, conflict. Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> <A little> shark <laughs> with blood in the water. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Jan, so I'm going to turn it around. The best thing that Mark brings to this partnership is... Well, everyone thinks Mark is, you know, str 
strong and whatever, but he's very sensitive. And okay. sometimes our teams get to see that. Ah, and when he becomes sensitive, the whole room is like, oh mm -hmm. my God. And, but it really- Don't I, say that. <laughs> it's, uh, I think now. it just shows how, for me, it just reminds me how important our work family is to yeah. us because when he tears up, <laughs> we all tear up. <laughs> what are y'all doing? I know. I mean, this I is know. supposed I, to be emotional. I, I can't help it. Yeah. I just... He uh, does. He's, I, like, I'm, he's a weenie. I'm a, I'm a crier. Really? I cry when Scooby-Doo and Shaggy get back together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That is emotional. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm. Okay. So here, I'm going to shift gears then. All right? So I do these podcast questions at the end of every episode, and I usually ask 10 questions. Uh, but I'm, what I'm going to do with some of these is... I usually ask the interviewer uh, the question about themselves. I think I'm gonna ask <laughs> each of you how to answer it for the other person. Okay. So, in other words, I'll start with, uh, I'm gonna start with Mark. So, which superpower would you most like Jan to have? <laughs> which superpower would mm -hmm. I most like Jan to have? The, the power of quiet. <laughs> okay, I don't, I, I, I don't I don't, okay. I guess you can invent your own superpower. She has no, so. yeah. So mute, the mute button. Yeah. You wish, okay, yeah. you wish she had a mute button. The quiet. There. All right, uh, guess what? Softness. I'm gonna turn this the back around. softness. Okay, Jan, which superpower would you most like Mark to have? Uh, the power to get things done. Oh, okay, all right. I'm a doer. <laughs> when I tell him to. Oh, okay, yeah, when I tell him to. And time. the way yeah, you that's want everybody. him to do it. Yeah, well, that's every couple. Oh. Okay. It gets um, done when it needs to get done. So, uh, all right, Mark, what do you think is her personal motto or words that she lives by? Uh, <laughs> honestly, her motto is probably don't mess with me. <laughs> don't mess with me? Okay. All right, Jan, what is his personal motto? I don't know. Um... I can't say don't. Yeah, me. please. I, yeah. I can't okay, say Okay, all right. Don't I'm, mess with me. I'm going to say Texas, our so. motto okay, is all right. um, familia es toda. That's true. Okay, Whether sorry. it's work or family. All right. And we'll let people um, Google translate what that means. I thought it was familia. Oh, La boy. familia es toda. Is it up? Do you have a sign or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. La familia yeah. es toda. Okay. Yeah, we got that from uh, Breaking Bad. What? Okay. <laughs> don't all say right. that. But we still love them. But we love, love it. it. Uh, so, okay, so other than where you guys live now, uh, where else in the world would you, I'm gonna ask you this, where else in the world would y'all most like to live? Is it the same answer or is it different? Do you have an answer? The only place where I'd say, I've always said where I'd live is Lubbock, Texas. Oh yeah, love Lubbock, Texas. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I gotta get there then, Lubbock, Texas. The friendliest people in the world, Lubbock, okay. Texas. I'm not kidding. So you, you could pick Fiji, you could pick Cancun, you, no, we like Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas. No, that's right. We, but we got stores in Lubbock. Yeah. And uh, we love Lubbock, Texas. And both Jan and I went to Texas Tech yeah. University as well as all three of our kids. So we love Lubbock. Okay. So that's true. We got a house out there too. So got a place to stay. Um, uh, let's see. Who, uh, I asked this question. Uh, so I'm going to ask it directly. Mark, who is a celebrity you would most like to meet one day? Um, wow. I'm not really that into... I'm seriously, mm -hmm. I'm not into celebrities. Who would I like, Jen? Mm -hmm. You usually know who I like. I don't know. And it's not that uh, jewelry wait uh, clerk, that yeah. cute jewelry <laughs> clerk. That oh, could it be any girl? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, oh, well, that, okay. you know, well, that, that opens it all up. Oh, now, you know what? Celebrities I, are female. I tell too. you, if somebody thinks funny, it's Kevin Hart. I think the mm -hmm. guy's hilarious. Yeah. You know? Oh, so, Jumanji. Yeah, he, the guy's just hilarious. Yeah. So I think you know, okay. he'd be fun to talk to. Jan. He's my size. Probably Julia Roberts. Julia Always Roberts, pretty woman. pretty woman. Always been a fan. Uh, 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 okay, now I'm going to ask this about the other person. Mark, no, let's start with Jan. There you go. Thank let's you. start with Jan no, for these ones. Jan, which word, okay, keep it clean. Which words or phrases does Mark oh, most overuse that fair. are not, yeah. That's not even fair. Uh, what is it you say? Uh, uh, where you are, something where you are. Keep it where you are. What is it? What? Hold it where you are. What is it? <laughs> oh, come on. When we're moving something, stay where you are. Stay where you are. The other one I can't say. Oh, yeah. Don't please. I, I think know it's, there's it's one. It's like stay where you are. 
Hold, hold, what, what, you got. Got. hold what you got. Hold, hold what you got. Hold what you got. got. Hold what you got. Hold what you got. Okay. That's right. So, so what's that? that? Everybody does. Well, when I, he's I, making me help him move something, okay. and then he wants to, you know, whatever. Hold what you got. I have to hold it. Gift, she's a workhorse. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you. I have you to know, hold yeah, it yeah. while he decides what to do okay. with it. Like, she won't, like, we go down to the beach, she carries everything. Like, I'm just like a princess. And I just kind of walk down with my bathing suit and sunglasses. You know, she gets everything. It's the best. What, what was the question? What words or phrases does Jan most overuse? <laughs> okay, so she calls your name in uh, some in loud that and, wonderful okay. screech yeah. that I'm so used like, to. Uh, what was the the friends uh, that one girlfriend on Friends that was super annoying? Chandler, and she had that no, laugh or whatever. Yeah, that's kind of so. It's kind of like I should yeah. know it, but I don't at this moment. Uh, okay, back to Jan. What sound or noise does Mark love? Oh, barking, howling, oh, dogs. The dogs. Oh yes, I love okay. puppies. Yeah, we yeah. which we have, we have heard. Really, yeah, it, we've heard and we've had They're to put them away. Up. Yeah, yes, um, he loves. Okay, uh, Mark. What sound or noise does Jan love? Uh, probably my snoring at night. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Who, who wouldn't? That's right. It, uh, yeah, yes. it's like a white noise. Yeah. 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 It just puts it. her right, right to sleep. <laughs> Uh, okay, Jan, what sound or noise uh, does Mark hate? <laughs> My voice? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I love your voice. <laughs> Mark? Or sweet. am I snoring at night? Uh, she's I don't worst. snore. That's He's, not true. He says right. I should. Right. Well, I know I, I got, I'm not gonna I got recording. Put a, yeah, I'm not going to put a it's microphone horrible. in there. What, uh, Mark, what sound or noise does Jan hate? Jan hates. Um, sound or noise that Jan hates. <laughs> I know. What? Then you tell okay. me. Okay. Then you, you answer, answer, you answer for me. Because I can't. whistling. Oh. Uh, not, not the, not oh, the whistle okay. that says stop in your tracks. No. The whistling of the song. Oh. When there's a song on the radio and he... <laughs> See, like I got music that runs through my head yeah. all the time. Like I'm one of those people. Yeah. She's like Musically nothing. Inclined. And like you whistle like no, you're happy. No, he whistles mm -hmm. something while he's feeding the dogs. I'm like, stop. Oh. That's just nails on a chalkboard. You yes. Know? Okay. Maybe he does it. Seriously, what kind of person are yeah. you? Because it's, it's, I mean, I'm a happy person. I know, listening. I know. You're happy. She's miserable. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, next question. Uh, Jan, what profession, other than w what Mark did, and then now at Sport Clips, what he's doing now, would he, you think he would have been good at, or at least he should have tried? Oh, a professional baseball player. Ah! Okay, all right, professional <laughs> baseball player playing for which team? Oh, well, I, I don't think it matters. Yeah. It wouldn't have mattered? No. Okay, you have, okay, no. as long as you made it. No. All right. She knows I'd be perfect at that. Mm -hmm. Pitcher, uh, hit second with base. Second yeah, base? That's my position. Is that what Boone played in girls no, and softball? No. no. Oh, okay. That's my position. All right. <laughs> that was his you, thing. Would, you wouldn't let them, you, know, <laughs> you want to share that. All right, what profession other than her? She was a Take teacher, care. she was a mom. All Don't that, would she have been good at, or at least have wanted to try? <laughs> Should have tried. Please, this is family is this, friendly. Is this, the, is this the funny part? And this, this is whatever. I mean, we're still on the audio version of the podcast. Okay, stuff. well, no, I ain't gonna say it. Yeah, no, no, dude. No, okay. She would be a wonderful cheerleader. Cheerleader. <laughs> well, she wasn't. She was a cheerleader yeah, in, in high, high school. school. So yeah. she, that would, if she just took that profession on, she'd just be wonderful out of it. Okay. All right. Cheerleader. In an adult film star. <laughs> okay, nope, that, nope, nope. And I think the, the microphone uh, you know, blurred out there. S next, I'm going to just keep going here with the next question. Uh, Jan, what do you consider Mark's greatest achievement? Oh, the greatest achievement. Um, oh, he's a great dad. He, um, he loves his kids. Just loves being their dad. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love that answer. Back to Mark. What do you consider Jan's greatest yeah, achievement? Yeah, the children. Okay, the kids. Uh -huh. We got the best kids in the world. We love them. I mean, she. Because mm -hmm. her. Hmm. And if heaven indeed exists, which it does, <laughs> what would you guys like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I'll start with Jan. It's a great job. Great job. Yeah, well done. And well done. Good answers. Fun podcast. I think that, you know, even though you guys laughed a bunch and interrupted each other more than I asked you to, um, 
I think there's a bunch of good stuff in here for, uh, for everybody to, to hear. Uh, that's going to wrap up this edition on the audio version. We're going to continue with uh, a couple stories on the, uh, the video version here. But thanks, everybody, for joining us, and tune in next time for another edition of the Sport Clips Hall of Fame podcast. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. So that's there. That's still going. So you can't start dropping whatever. You have to you still can. behave. Drop the F-bombs. You have to behave. <laughs> I haven't dropped one yet. I know. Behave. All right. Let's get back to you guys are 13 years old. <laughs> You're growing up, what, are you in the same hometown? How, what, what? Oh, I'll go back Richardson, even farther. Texas. <clears throat> Mark and I were born in the same hospital, 15 days apart. Uh, Our, who's older? He is, Mine. 15 days, of course. Fairly. Our parents honeymooned in the same place. Lake Murray, Oklahoma. Not a... Uh, like weird, right? Yeah, that's like uh, that's yeah. Weird. one in a billion yeah. honeymoon destination. Yeah. It is not usually. Know, maybe in the fifties. Mark's yeah. dad was a diver in Highland Park. My dad was a swimmer at SMU, which are right by each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Same they neighborhood. they knew each other through mm -hmm. his big brother. Well, your right dad there. knew my uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle Bill. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> go to go to any schools at the same time. Summer, growing up? summer. Parents, parents didn't, right? No. Yeah. Parents before uh, parents. The summer before seventh grade, I was at Cottonwood Park with my friend Susan, mm -hmm. and we were standing there just kind of hanging out, and all of a sudden this boy comes up on a bike, and he kind of does this little skid out, you mm -hmm. know, and a little gravel goes flying. Right. And I looked at him, and I looked mm -hmm. at Susan, and I said, wow, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know who that's that is. All it, that's all it took, huh? I said, I'm going gonna, gonna to date him <laughs> in junior high. Mm -hmm. And what got me, he had these legs, mm -hmm. and they had hair on them. Of course. Still do. Yeah, yeah they do, they do. But, I mean, it was the first kid my age that had, he mm -hmm. was just built. That much more mature, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, True anyway, story, I remember that. Fast, I remember fast that. forward. Do you go to junior high? Is junior we go to high junior, junior started, started, right. started. Yeah, that's okay. when we first met Fast forward, he dates three of my friends, and mm -hmm. then May of seventh grade, 1977. May 27th, 1977. Whoa, you have the yeah. yeah. Okay. He asked me to go steady. In front uh -huh. of Steve Touchdown's house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. under, the under the tree. Under the tree. Now, was it a, a note that was folded and he passed to no, you, or no. he just walked he right was up? He was actually supposed to ask me the at weekend before at Six Flags. Yeah, and we were actually in the, the something cave. Speed Lunker Cave. Speed Lunker Cave. And he was going to ask me, and he didn't. And I kind of got Chicken upset. Out. And I was like, whatever. And she <clears> the ride back on the bus. She's like, blah, 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 yeah. blah. Because you had known, did you I know he was, he was going to? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Someone had given you yeah. the yeah, low I, down. I chickened out. Yeah. yeah, and we actually, from seventh grade until tenth grade, we were 100%. Grade. I'm going to get there. Okay. But we broke up one week in tenth grade. Because there I, were three other friends of yours that he hadn't <laughs> dated yet that he nah. just kind of. Oh. Actually, I don't remember that. But yeah. And I went to FCA with Tom Lynn. And oh, he, okay. But, but Tom, that. he picked me up. And he what is FCA? What, what FCA? Fellowship Christian, Christian, Christian Athletes. Athletes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't a dance yeah. or something. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. no. But Tom went through Wendy's and got himself a hamburger. I thought we were going to dinner and then FCA. And he comes and he's like, here's a kid's meal for you. And I'm like, really, dude? And he had his dog with him. Jarvis. Like, Whatever. Yeah. Dog Jarvis. Tom's a great guy, but. He's one of my best yeah. friends. Yeah, but he, he that had to happen, or you could have yeah. ended up with Tom. Yeah. So we got, oh, well, that would have been okay. Well, He's a great <laughs> guy. No. But he has a lovely wife and yeah. no children. Oh, anyway, so lovely. then we got back together and stayed together till March of our senior year. So she a brings up, so like a, a month before senior prom, after we've dated all this time, she breaks up with me and goes to... Broke his heart. Goes to what? prom with Ricardo. Okay, wait. What's why? What happened? Yeah. I need, I needed what a happened? break. Okay. He, he was smothering me. Uh huh. And I just needed. And I was a break. deeply in love. I know. Yeah. She broke I my know. heart. Like yeah. really, really. Uh, I'm sure. I've but we both went to prom with different been with there. two other people. And I did go to prom with. If it wasn't oh, so you Jan. rebounded. Oh yeah, and <laughs> I had the, pretty, the prettiest girl. <laughs> yeah. At the high. At Richard, second, Cheryl, you mean the second? She prettiest. looks like Cheryl Teagues. Okay. Her name's Cheryl. Yeah, and 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 she's beautiful, and she has. Mm -hmm. Three or four beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway, so yeah. So we we did that. Ricardo and Cheryl. He's pumping gas. Right? Okay. All right. Oh, that's your other boyfriend. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What? Like Ricardo's gonna watch mm -hmm. this? Okay. And I'm okay. Will, and if he does, yeah. that's fine. Sorry. Bring it on, Ricardo. <laughs> I won. 
Um, <laughs> oh, so we go off. So she followed me at Texas Tech because I was no, going No, I was going to Texas Tech because my brother went there. I was going to go And there. I was always going and Mark followed me. But and anyway, I was going to try he out pledged a fraternity team. and I pledged a tridel or a sorority. And we actually, because we share a birthday in September, not the same day, but 15, birth 15 days apart, yes. Mm -hmm. We always said we'd go to dinner with each other every year. So uh, freshman uh -huh. year, we went to dinner. But you're not, you're not We're not together. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I, I actually went to home. To. I actually went to homecoming with him our freshman year and had a miserable time. Mm. Then we went was to. It, did he get you Wendy's or something? No, it, we, yeah, it was bad. It was a football okay. game. It was. Oh, so he was distracted. I, I, I said to his friend, "Take me home. I'm done." But anyway, then we went. Then we had lunch again in the next September, and then I was dating someone and broke up with them. And then Mark. I told him I was ready. I called him and we talked and I said I was ready to get back together. And he said, I'm sorry, I'm dating Barbara. That's right. Barbara yeah. Jean. Barbara Jean. And, and was he really or was he no, just No, he excited? was. Oh, he definitely okay. was. Yeah. And then, like a week later, he broke up. A week later. Like, come on. Yeah. That's and then true. he called me and so we got back that together. Like six weeks later. Yeah. Six, okay. So in between one and six weeks. Yeah. So we were apart little... pretty much about two years in college. Yeah. And then got back together and that was it. And got married in college, right? No, we came home. Mark is a planner. Mark is uh -huh. a planner. We, um, I got a job. He finally. What? No, you got no. He um. I got a job. Yeah, you did. Well, you actually you got Mark out school bought, first. Mark bought a boat instead yeah. of an engagement ring. Yeah, who would? in college? Like most boys do. If you have a choice, if you have a choice, no, a no, a ski boat. Ski. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow. And he he bought that instead. In fact, everyone in the family's like, "What is he doing? Why didn't he buy an engagement ring?" Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "I don't know." Well, no, I think I had saying. credit. Actually, I had credit card bills, and he told me we oh. I had to pay him off before he'd marry me. Oh, he didn't want no. your debt. Yeah. No. But we got we got engaged. Like I was still in school, and she graduated because I was a, a five year program in school. I was teaching school two years before we got engaged. Well, I didn't get there, and <laughs> I graduated, mm -hmm. and we needed to make some money before we got married. And we actually bought a house right before we got married, so we have a place to move into right away. And so we did. Like, that's what happened. And then we waited to have children. We probably did. Come two years. Two years. And then we went bam, bam. Yeah. And then waited a while. Did you, you, you plan? Did you plan oh, to well, have all the kids? Yeah. While one was in diapers, have another kid. We we were. Yes. Yes. The first one was yeah. so good and so fun, right. and so easy. She was yes. perfect. And it the second be, one right? was like, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> she was. She's beautiful and wonderful now. Mm -hmm. But she was, she was a, a colic she was a baby. Colic handful. She oh, was okay. Right. But but you we wanted a boy. A boy. Yes. Yeah. So then I had to obviously have, Jordan, that's have another story one. Yeah. as well. Two so girls we have to, and then got to try to ovulate. To... No, I didn't. So I said obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had obviously. But that's true. That, yeah. that, that, that is happen. true. It does help. <laughs> anyway, so then we had Boone, and thank God it yeah. was a boy because mm -hmm. I would have had to have four. Yeah. Which would have oh, been. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you, and you I probably would have, but yeah. I was done. He so would have more. We got Gable, Boone, and Dibral. Not in that order. Right. So Gable, Gable Dibral Boone. Gable is our is my mother's maiden name. Okay. Dibral is my grandfather's surname. Surname. Yeah, because no and, middle name, and it was a surname before yeah. then. And a name of a street that we know about. Yes. And um, Boone is just Boone. No, so, no reason. Well, well T Boone. I was I was in the oil and gas business. Okay. So okay. T Boone Pickens yeah. is yeah. kind of a. We just always liked it, and weird. because you. When he was running so down, so I always had this thought, you know, that he would be a football player, and then mm -hmm. he would catch that pass, and he'd be running down the field, and everybody's going, "Boo!" Oh no, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Are they, yeah. are they booing like, him? Moves. Are they booing him? Yeah, you know? right, right. So ironically, he was a part of something in the pep rally in the high school, and they were all, everyone was yelling "boo," and oh, the okay. teacher afterward was like, "I am so sorry, yeah. they were booing you," yeah. and he was like, "What do you mean? Yeah, they were calling my it. name?" Yeah. And it was the uh, uh, realization yeah. of a dream. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And there's no way they, well, Boone might have, that they ever were in a class with somebody that had their same name. No. No. Not one of the None teachers, of them. But one of the teachers named had, had her, named her, her son, baby yeah. Boone. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. we knew a Gable, last name Gable yeah. at church. Uh, yeah. No difference. No difference. No. And uh, none of them, none of them are married. No. No grandkids. Live in the dream. No, no grandkids. Yeah. And you are hoping for uh, grandbabies God. five years from now, 10 years from now. Yes. 
Yes. All, all of that. Yes. Yeah. Um, Married first, hopefully. And then, yeah, right. You know. Yeah. And uh, what do you think that'll change anything for y'all if they're not living here and there's grandbabies in the picture? Uh, it'll be hard, but um, we'll just have to go there, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of made a commitment to, uh, to, to see our kids at least once every month. Mm -hmm. Mark so, drove somewhere. And to Lubbock. To Lubbock by himself once and... Listen, Listen to, to that audiobook. Audiobook, which thing. I didn't think he'd ever do. Well, you know, there's 20 some podcasts that if you ever. Yeah, yeah. Family, yeah. I, know. That you I, can, I know that. Now. But he listened to the one thing and he came home. Oh, yeah. Was and that before sat, Huddle or after, was after. after? Oh, okay. Was after. But he came home and he sat me down and I had a revolution. I was like, mm -hmm. Revolution, revelation. Yeah, both, yeah. yeah. And I was a revolution mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. Then he had a revelation. But, um, and he was like, We are going to do. What was the other thing? Well, I was going to get more work done, but that's oh. all. Oh, he was going to change his morning routine. Uh -huh. yeah. Hasn't done that. Nah. But he said, and not check emails before. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's what I was yes. going to do. That yes. whole thing. Well, I won't. I, I don't have time to go into his morning mm -hmm. routine. But um, then he, he said, we are going to make an effort to see our children, all three of them, If we don't see month. them, we need uh -huh. to see them at least yeah. once a month. So we'll and fly to been, New York, fly to Chicago. And we've been pretty good. Lubbock's we've missed easy a few. Lubbock's because Penn's in Lubbock, yeah. so we're already there, so. If we see him like on the tail end of a month, we kind of count it as right. both months. Yeah. But yeah. we've been pretty good. Really Our girls good. would say we don't come see them because, well, it's, but they it's New come York here. So, yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. Chicago is. Yeah. Well, no, my, uh, well, no, they're happy there. I just yeah. don't. And not that it's about me, but uh, my, uh, my parents were living in North Carolina when we were pregnant with our first child. And uh, we had Emily, and they came out that week. And on the flight back, we were in California, on the flight back to North Carolina, my dad turned to my mom and said, nope, we're not going to visit these kids once a year or whatever. And they actually, you know, picked up two months later, moved wow. to California and lived that's two awesome. miles away from us that's and awesome. have Grammy and Poppy Day with each oh, of the kids. that's not going to happen yeah. with us. So, we're not leaving Texas. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, that's why it can't be your story, obviously. So you got to yeah. convince them yeah. to all kind of settle around here so you guys can... Ben, I'm, I'm good with Ben. Ben's going to yeah. do it for sure. He's yeah. going to stay in Texas. I think mm -hmm. the girls will come we back hope, eventually. We hope and pray the girls will mm -hmm. come back at Once some point. Get... But, but we support them. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm over it now. Yeah. He was a little bitter. Oh, He's pretty, gonna right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I know. I, yeah. I've got, I don't, I don't have grown daughters yet. My oldest is 14. I say he was but, bitter for um, yeah. just so they can hear that. Right. He, really, <laughs> right. he really has been okay. Yeah. They we're very supportive. Yeah, well, we are. They do. Plus, once they really do settle down and the kids you know, are in the picture for them yeah. to start having them, there's going to be some heartstrings kind of yep. hopefully bringing them back to yeah. y'all as well. Yeah, so. I hope so. Um, all right. Well, this is fun. Thanks for opening up your house and keeping the dogs locked up. And I was yeah, about to yeah, get the yeah, dog scratching on the they're door. Ready, um, they're ready to come yes, in. Yes, that's so Brody. I'll wind this down. We'll, we'll put this up on, uh, on YouTube. And uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, thanks to the, to the Mansfields, Mark and Jan Mansfield. No, no. Jan and Mark Thank Mansfield. You. Thank you. Uh, for, for letting you us do this. You don't separate the woman's name. The man's the name from the woman's name. That's what that etiquette book yeah, says. That's right. All right. We definitely.